I do not really fully comprehend cryptocurrency. Uh, I just want to be clear. I'm not suggesting you do or do not do any of this. Mm -hmm. But Patty is interested in it and she's learning a lot and she's really high on it. Like you, you and you really believe in it. I do. Yeah. So you're going to meet Glauber here. He lives in L.A. He reads, uh, I guess he, he's reading Reddit and he reads about Dogecoin. What's Dogecoin? It's a meme coin. It was created to make fun of the crypto, the Bitcoin, the Ethereum. And you, um, so but you, you're basically buying emoji coin and you're you're putting your own real money into that. Yeah, you're yeah, you're betting on it that it's going to be worth more than what you put in. Um, but something happened at the beginning of this year. Elon Musk started endorsing it. And, you know, when you have the the richest man on earth talking about a coin, you start thinking, hmm, maybe there's something there, but right? Is there anything do you get? Can you use it for anything? Right. Can you spend Tangible. it on anything? You can now, you know, for example, Mark Cuban allowed um, his NBA team to um, sell merch. And now you can buy merch with Dogecoin. Um, I believe the Major League Baseball also some teams have allowed uh, special experiences to be swapped with Dogecoin. So you're um, trading a coin for something. It's it's yeah, a it's like it's a, it's a currency. It's a currency. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So anyway, this guy, he decides to max out his credit cards and he put two hundred fifty grand. $250,000 into it, and he ends up with a $2 million return. Glauber is on the line with us now. Glauber, good morning. How are you? Good morning. What's going on? Glauber <laughs> Soto of Los Angeles. Feeling I'm, good. So, I'm so fascinated by your story. First of all, congratulations, Glauber. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, I was saying earlier, you're, you're in your early 30s. You work at a media company in L.A. Your parents came to the U.S. from Brazil when you were really, really young. And you saw your, the struggle of your family. And you said, hey, I'm, I'm going to become rich and I'm going to give back to them and I'm going to have a great life for myself. So I'm just curious. I don't fully understand. Do you say Dogecoin? Am I saying it right? Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Doge. Okay. So I don't fully yep. understand it, but I'm trying. What gave <laughs> you the courage? <laughs> to put that much money into something Ooh. that we know so little about? Man, it was really a combination of things, to be honest. It was a little bit of some technical analysis of the graphs over the years. I've been looking at trends and, and researching that. And a combination of me coming up with my own bullish thesis about mm -hmm. where the future, what the future holds as far as cryptocurrency goes. And a little bit of Elon Musk tweets just mm -hmm. to top it off. Yeah. So did you make the investment after Elon touted it? Uh, yeah. So I actually went all in, sold all my stocks, Tesla stocks, Uber stocks, uh, maxed <gasps> out two credit cards, borrowed some <laughs> money from family. This was all right after he did about eight or nine tweets in a row about Doge. And that kind of sealed the deal for me because, like I said, I had come up with, you know, my bullish thesis and looking at the graphs and everything was pointing in that direction. Mm -hmm. And when Elon Musk came completely in full force behind it and full support, that made me just completely go all in. So, Glover, not to exploit it here on this platform, but what is your bullish theory about cryptocurrency? Well, I truly believe that memes are the language of the millennial. Mm -hmm. So I believe that in the future, we're going to be able to buy and sell things with memes because the way it is now, we share memes every day, all the time. Uh, we don't know who makes them. We come across them on the internet and, and share it with all of our friends. And this is the first time we have memes being paired with a currency. So I truly believe that the future is cryptocurrency and Dogecoin is going to lead the way in that, in that realm. And you made two million bucks. What have you done? Or you haven't sold yet, right? Right. Did you keep it? I in? haven't sold a single coin, and I don't plan on selling until I hit at least ten million dollars or one year of holding these coins. Oh. Now you would you and you're putting those rules on yourself. You wouldn't pull out like five hundred grand. No, no. I'm I'm trying to stay away from the short <laughs> short term capital gains tax. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Do you yeah. get worried? Do you get worried when call. it goes down? Do you get worried when it dips down and then it kind of dips back up? Like, I mean, this is a little nerve wracking here and there. I can't, you know, I'm not going to lie about that. But 
I do believe in the future and I do believe that Dogecoin is the future. And so, you know, I just hold on. I hold strong. I try to encourage others. If you believe in the Dogecoin, if you believe that this is the future, I'm holding right along there with you. You know what I mean? We're diving yeah. in this all the way, yeah. all the way to the future. I'm with and you. And buy the dip. There's not that much. Right. You buy, buy the, the dip. dip. You got to buy, sure buy the dip. Mm -hmm. Buy the dip. Now that had a whole different meaning where I grew up in the South. Buy the dip. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bunch of tobacco you weren't allowed to have when you were a kid by the dip mm. uh glauber thank you brother for coming on man i'm so fascinated by it. we're gonna stay tuned to see how it goes for you okay yeah for sure man thank you for having me take care of yourself glauber yeah all right you too i mean works right there in hollywood and he's mm -hmm. I, you know what i like he's focused on his belief he's mm -hmm. not gonna yeah. let anything distract from what he's focused on um again this show is the last place you should turn to for investment advice, but <laughs> I found that fascinating.